Hello everyone, welcome in. I know, a post on mid-Friday. This has never happened on this channel before. So, my time has freed up in my day-to-day -day life where I have more to give to this channel. So, I thought I'd go into doing uh, weekend readings um, to release every Friday from now on. I'm going to leave the comment section open for this particular video. If there's anything additional you guys want to see, please comment down below and I'm going to see what I can work in to my schedule now that I have a little bit more flexibility. For those of you who want to skip ahead to your sign you want to um, listen to immediately, the timestamps will be in the description box below. Let's get started. All right, Aries, let's see if we have a good weekend in store for you. Good or bad weekend? Good or bad weekend? This is a yes and no spread. I haven't used it in a very long time. So let's dust it off and see where we go. I've got seven of wands, eight of swords, hierophant, that's card of Taurus. And it's two of cups, okay? Page of wands. King of Wands, Leo Energy, nice. Nine of Wands, Page of Coins. Hmm, okay. So there's, it <laughs> depends on perspective here. It's a good weekend if you can roll with the punches. <laughs> It feels like that, that there's a lot being learned over the course of this weekend that has to do with making um, a firm commitment to something new. It doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship. Um, it definitely is a partnership of some kind. It's not coming off as romantic, though. Not coming off. So if this is a business, it does look like something is being built. Okay, versus being curbed. Seven of Wands often is blocking, but this is coming across as building. Um, there's a lot of apprehension and anxiety about, is this going to work? What else do I have to learn in order to make this work? Um, it, you are starting small. Both are coming in as pages. You are starting small, but the idea is to build all the way across to the Hierophant, to a bigger commitment that is maintained by the both of you. Um, it's a little bit intimidating. It's a little scary, but somehow, some way, it is all worth it. Or you have convinced yourself that it is. You know it is. Okay. Um, let's see. Do we have any signs on the board? We have Taurus and Leo. Okay. Okay. This does feel like someone's, like the two of you are renovating a house. There's been a lot of DIY on the internet these days with stuff like that. Um. Because we're learning new things on how to build and there's a lot of anxiety about it. <laughs> there is a lot of anxiety about it. Um, but there's something here where the planning is well done by both. There, there's equal commitment here. There's equal dedication here. This is not one-sided at all. Um, it's something where a lot of yourselves are going to have to be put into. Could it be simply partnership between you two? Yes, but there is, like, there's someone literally building something here. Um, and there's the fear of, is, is this going to, is the idea that we, we have, say, for example, drawn up, sketched up, is that going to translate um, in the end result after all this work that we put into this? Okay. Um, there's also wondering if this thing that you're building is going to strain the two of cups between you. This is that opportunity for something to either kind of what doesn't kill you, make you stronger <laughs> kind of thing. Um, it, it's either going to make you or it's going to break you. So it's going to be an informative weekend. <laughs> it's going to tell you a lot about each other. Pros and cons, pluses and minuses. Okay. Um, the only thing I would kind of err on the side of caution is do not get stuck in this eight of swords energy where I don't know what to do. I feel stuck. Nothing can be done. You, that app attitude needs to be completely dropped. There's always a solution. There's always a solution. Even if you can't figure it out, you have a partner you can use as a soundboard that can help you with that. Okay. Good luck, Aries. 
All righty, Taurus, we're going to use the yes and no spread to see if you're going to have a good weekend or not. It is a spread I have not used in a very long time. It went okay with Aries, so let's keep on keeping on with this. We have the Eight of Wands out first, Nine of Wands, Four of Wands, a lot of fire. Okay, Death card of Scorpio, High of Priestess card of Pisces, start. Damn, Taurus. Oh, Wheel of Fortune. Wow. The world that's fixed energy. Tower. Holy shit. Okay, you're gonna get some you're gonna get some news that's going to change your whole life. You know this is something that is a faded thing. Um it's better than you could have ever imagined. It looks like you're leaving a particular home environment behind or um, a certain kind of paradigm or dynamic that is based in the home or being at home. Um, something's being left behind there. There's something here that is going to, that you're going to be offered that you know is something that's going to come in. You just don't know exactly what it is. And yeah, it's going to change everything. It's going to change everything. For someone, this is a new house. For someone, this is a new job. Um, there's something here where you have really anchored to your intuition, where when this comes in, the excitement is overwhelming. The sigh of relief is overwhelming. You know something is coming that's going to change everything. You just don't know from what direction. You don't know exactly what it's going to look like, but you do know it's what you need. Okay. You do know it's what you need. And there's something here that's going to, it, it's going to transform your entire life inside and out and even where you live. Along with, I'm getting with here with Wheel of Fortune, with personal fortune. I don't know if you guys are winning the lottery. <laughs> There's a, because this is one thing that changes, that changes every aspect of your life. Okay. And it's something that this change helps attract more positive things. Okay. There's something that you have been working on in the background. It doesn't feel like you've been telling too many people about this. That's supposed to kind of catalyze this kind of, this manifestation of the universe delivering this thing to you, this opportunity to you, this, it's either an opportunity and asset, money, which is an asset. It's something that ripple effects through your whole life. Okay. It's like it wipes the slate clean where you can start fresh in a way that's very meaningful to you. This is really exciting. And at the same time, it is, if you are single, when this happens, it's going to attract a partner for you. Once this move happens, you've been biding your time in this situation, trying to make the best of it until this eight of wands comes in and delivers this opportunity. Okay. You've been devout in your conviction of this thing is coming. I'm doing the work that I need to do to catalyze this change. And I know the universe is going to deliver it. I hope it's soon because it feels like where you're at is getting like you're in a little bit of hot water and it's starting to boil. I know the universe is going to get me out of this. I've done my part of the deal, right? Now it's the universe's side to do their part of the deal because we've had talks about what it is that I need moving forward. And what's great about it is that you're, you're making it seem like everything is fine. You're like total perfect poker face. No one knows that anything's wrong or off or that you're waiting on something. It, this is perfect because then no one can ruin the opportunity coming in for you. So good weekend and good luck guys. All righty, Gemini, welcome in. We're going to use this yes or no spread. One I haven't used in a while to see if you guys are going to have a good weekend or not. Yes or no. Nine of swords. Sun. Wheel of Fortune. The answer is yes, and the spread isn't even finished yet. <laughs> Hold on. Let's see. Devil, card of Cap. Okay, let's get the rest out. Let's 
Mm. Got a lot of okay, so we got Leo, Scorpio, Capricorn here. Okay, there there was a long rooted fear in the heart space here as a result of a previous three of swords, broken heart. Um This is interesting. It's something you've been holding on for a long time. Okay. Something you've been holding on to for a long time that has held you back. That has been the trigger in other relationships. Okay. Um, there's something here where it looks like for someone, it could be as a result of, um, like meeting ancestors or spirit guides in your dreams. That's going to illuminate something for you. That's going to lead to change in your conscious state when you wake up after after you dream and you wake up the next day um they're they're working with you on this um in order to get you to let go of it because it's time to let go of it it's time for this cycle to be won and finally put away for long term because there are happy days that are meant to come in ahead but if you cannot be happy and positive then these happy days are going to be limited. Um, there's a truth here that they're going to reveal to you that's going to be a little bit cutting, a little, a little bit painful, but it's something that is supposed to be assessed so it could be processed and move on. It sounds like it has something to do with, um, it's circling around blame. Is it my fault this ended or this went bad or da, 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 da. it's is finally accepting your percentage of blame, even if it's 1% or 0.001%. Okay. Um, this is something that avoiding acceptance here has allowed this to fester. Okay. Um, and again, time does not help. Heal all wounds, it does not. Time scabs things over so they could be triggers for the future. We have to actively work on ourselves to heal ourselves. So it looks like ancestors, spirit guides are stepping in with the intention of um, supporting you in this process and bringing you wisdom in your dream state, in your subconscious state, so it could take root and bloom into your conscious state when you awake the next day. There is something here that it's time to let go. It's a sig it's it's not that it's an insignificant fear. This is rooted in the heart space here. Okay. So is this going to be a good weekend for your path, for your soul journey? Yes. For in terms of you having fun? No. <laughs> this doesn't look fun at all. Is it good for you? Yes. <laughs> I know nobody wants to hear that. <laughs> And with the integration of dropping this fear and transmuting it comes with it abundance and change in fortune. Okay. So it's in your best interest to tackle this, to work with your guides. Okay. Lucid dream. If you know how, um, astral, astral travel, if you know how to do safely and make the most of this process of them helping you. Okay. Good luck guys. All right, Cancer, we're using the yes and no spread. See if you guys are going to have a good weekend or not. It's been interesting answers so far. So let's see where we go. Nine of Wands, that's come up a couple times now. Nine of Cups, ooh. Wait a second, two of Swords. <laughs> Ace of Coins, Five of Swords. Then we have... Three of Swords, Tower, and Six of Coins wants to peek out. Okay. So there is there is a plus here. This looks like a challenging weekend. I'll say that straight off the bat. Okay. Scorpio energy. Excuse me here at the bottom with the Tower. Um, There is, it feels like this is an adulting weekend. 
Um, if this is a breakup or especially if it's a divorce and now the home and assets have been split, um, there's something here where you're maintaining saving face in order for the sake of the kids. Okay. Um, there's something that you figured out how to do in this process of, um, maintaining connection with them as well as preserving your heart space or stealing your heart against the physical changes that are happening in your world and by bright byproduct their world okay this this looks like you know like dad or mom moving out of the house into somewhere else um it's been a challenge to it feels like it's been a challenge to find a place that is suitable um for not just your lifestyle needs but those for accommodating your kids um, there's a new beginning here that doesn't yet feel like a win, but it is. Okay. But it is, there's something here that's going to be, it's going to bring a, um, a wave of, uh, freedom in your life. I'm actually seeing someone who enjoys water sports like a lot, um, and not allowing anyone else to interfere with those hobbies that you love. I'm seeing jet skis for someone, wakeboarding for someone, um, and th that, that you take the kid with you. You take your kids with you. Um, you're noting that the house that you're leaving behind is a bit of a dumpster fire. <laughs> um, and that is, it is the thing to leave behind. It's the end of an era. Okay. Um, there's something there where the person that you were with tried to crush your hobbies, the things that you love doing, the things that you love doing with your kids. Okay. Um, and that just kind of helped the connect, this connection, uh, crumble faster. Okay. Um, this is where, uh, the breakup is the blessing. Okay. Cause no one should be forcing their partner to conform in any kind of way. Right. Um, especially when it's not coming from a place of love and trying to squash your hobbies is not coming from a loving place at all. Your child um, I am getting a little boy for someone. Um, your child is actually dealing with this whole change a whole lot better, um, than you may have thought, mostly because of your attitude that you're showing them that they're seeing in you as you take this transition in stride. Okay. So if this is father and son, he's seeing his dad is able to go through changes as much as it's not fun, as much as it's serious. Uh, he still see his dad is handling business. Okay. And there's, there's, of course he wants, he's, he wants to model that behavior, which is the, really the most important thing. Okay. Um, you're noting that this change is actually costing you a lot of money, but sure. Breakup, divorce, a lot of money, of course, <laughs> a lot of money. Um, there's something bittersweet at the end of all of this, at the actual, if this is an actual divorce, there's a little, something a little bit bittersweet at the end of the divorce process where this partner, this ex-partner of yours tries to kind of take a cheap shot at, at the end here. But in the end, it, this is, the challenge is finally over. This is finally closing and you get to move on with your kids, with your new place and the hobbies that make you both happy. So. Have a fun weekend on the water because it looks like that's going to be coming in soon. Bye, guys. Hello, Leos. Welcome in. We're going to be doing the yes and no spread, one I haven't done in quite a long time before today, to see if Leo is going to have a good weekend. Been getting interesting answers so far. Page of Swords, Death card of Scorpio, Five of Coins. Interesting. Okay. The Hanged Man, the Hermit, card of Virgo, Ace of Wands. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Eight of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. Moon, card of Pisces. A lot of introspective sort of energy. So, there's a little bit of sadness here. Okay, there's a little bit of sadness here. Um, this feels like a little bit of a soul searching kind of weekend so it does not feel fun it does not feel fun there's not because there's some something's over and out in the cold kind of vibe here um it does feel like you're keeping an eye on someone um a situation that has concluded 
okay, that has been physically moved on from, whether you lived together or did not or moved away from. Um, but there's a lot of discoveries here in the process of what was learned after the fact. Okay. It's almost like you see this person, um, that you parted from in, in a new light. You see their, got it. You see their contribution clearer than before. Okay. And that's kind of left you wanting to know like, where, where are they? <laughs> where are they? Um, it's almost like it's left you with more questions. Okay. More discoveries to be had. And you're going to find, you're going to find them. Absolutely. Um, do not let, do not let trying to see where they are distract you from the work. I know, I know. The easiest thing to do is to find them on social media and stalk them to the end of time. Right? <laughs> right. Uh, we all know where our mind's at. <laughs> And so what needs to happen here is the furthering of discovery of why the ending. And you're kicking it off with this knowledge of knowing, understanding better what was actually, actually contributed to the connection that you didn't see clearly before. Okay. I'm hearing with this moon, the um, Leo saying, now I'm all alone. It's like, no we no one's ever alone. No one is ever alone. That could either be said, um, you know, in a spiritual sense, or it could be said in a horror movie. <laughs> You're not alone. <laughs> Joking aside, there's this in searching after this person is the distraction from the lesson at hand. And that is the discoveries and realizations about was what was seen and what was not seen while in connection with this person. Okay. So you see it faster earlier and you properly honor the value the other person contributes before it's too late. Okay. Hmm. There's a desire to pen a message here. Okay. Make sure you sit in this it, and it's, it's going to feel uncomfortable. That's, that's what self-reflection can be, especially if we messed up. Right. Um, or if we're realizing we messed up, there's the desire to pen a message. Okay. Make sure you really take the time to delve into yourself and your honest review of what happened. Okay. Before you pen that message. It's important that the message is insightful and meaningful, okay? And not just, I'm sorry, I didn't value you properly. It's like, no, you need to be able to like cite chapter and verse here to show this person that you see them now, okay? So good luck this weekend, guys. All right, Virgo. Let's see what kind of weekend you're about to have. We're going to do the yes and no spread to see if Virgo is going to have a good weekend and those suckers flipped over 20 coins hey man, seven, one. are we resisting something good <laughs> let's see let's see had some interesting answers to this so far six of cups lovers card of gemini nine of wands ooh ooh okay hold on ten of cups ooh <laughs> queen of swords you are suspicious. You're at least a little suspicious. Ace of Cups, Moon card of Pisces. Queen of Coins. Justice card of Libra. Okay, you're, you're, you're having a soul bond delivered to you and you couldn't be more suspicious on if it's real, if it's yours, if it's true love or not. Okay. Or not. Um, this does come across as someone that you do know. So yes, this could be a really great weekend if you weren't so suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
because I love this lover's card. It's a very Beauty and the Beast kind of vibe. Um, so we have Gemini, Pisces, Libra here in the spread for those keeping track. Um, this is someone who is on similar footing to you, but you couldn't be possibly be more suspicious about this. Ace of Cups, Ace to the Ten. It's a whole cycle. Ace to the Ten. Long-term happiness with another person. Because you're just wondering, how is this going to go? Okay. Um, there. This is a return of someone that you know. It doesn't feel like a past life soulmate vibe. It feels like a current life one. Um, it feels like it's a feminine who... They've been through a lot of shit. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be as concise as I can with the little time that I have. Um, there's something here where there was an amicable, amicable foundation. Perhaps you were friends first or friends in the past. There seems to have been something, there was something between you before. Okay. I'm not really getting it as someone could be. But there was something between you before to where, see he, how he's how he's given her the, the cup and there's a giant mountain in the background. There was something there before that kind of doomed things. I don't feel like this ended horribly or that your heart was ripped out or anything like that. But it really was kind of a, it was a bummer. It was a bummer that this didn't get off the ground. So you're wondering, okay, why is this, why is she back? It didn't work out before. Why is she back? Mountain's gone. The mountain's gone and you're suspicious. <laughs> okay. So naturally there's a little bit of uh, resistance there because they're not the only one that's been through some stuff since your last connection. Okay. So the purity of, of the nature of which this Ace of Cups is being offered to you is met with scrutiny. Be careful with that. Okay, because if you push the cup back to her across the table, you, you could lose the cup. This person wants something balanced and fair with you. They've gotten to a place where, um, I mean, they, they, they walked through, they walked through everything and they, they walked through a um, tumultuous sort of path and they still came out of it in a, with an energy of abundance so they learned how to process and transmute whatever their patterns or pain was so they could get to this better place so they have a pure cup to give. So be careful with that sword, Miss Queen of Swords, because that's how you're showing up here on this spread, um, because you could miss out on a Ten of Cups if you're a little bit uh, too sharp. So good luck, guys. All right, Libra, let's do a yes and no spread for you to see if you guys are about to have a good weekend. Haven't used this spread in a very long time, but it's been coming up with some interesting readings so far. So let's see if Libra is going to have a good weekend. Six of Swords, Queen of Cups, Eight of Wands. Yes, <laughs> you are. Nine of Wands, Five of Coins, Seven of Swords. Good for you. Ten of Wands, Tower, Scorpio Energy, Three of Pentacles. There's going to be challenges and whatnot, but it's almost like you predicted them all. So you're not losing your shit or anything. You, it's, it's like you've, you've had a secret plan this whole time. If A, B, and C scenario should possibly or not happen and cause obstacles for you, you have already thought it through how you're going to deal with A, B, and C should any of them occur in the first place. Okay. It does look like there's a situation, it could be either home or company that you work for or work, about um, getting to the point where enough is enough, it's time to change. So you could have been, if this is a work thing, you could have been job searching this entire time using headhunters and the like and putting all of your ducks in a row to transition to a new place of work. Or this is a new place to live for someone. Someone's moving. Um, and is everybody going to like that you're leaving? No. Is that your problem? No. <laughs> 
you are doing something that is incredibly brave. You are actually going in the direction of your heart and passion where it wants to go. So you can live the life you've been wanting to for a very long time. Instead of living to help others with their dreams, it's time for Libra to live for their own dreams. Okay. Um, there is, well... you've handled this with like a covert, like you haven't told anybody your plan <laughs> or anybody immediately around you that could possibly throw a monkey wrench in your plan. Um, there is someone who's going to be a little bit angry. There is someone again, not your problem. Okay. Cause what's happening here that in spite of all this change here, there is some contentment here that is just unmatched. Okay, and with that contentment comes the arrival of new opportunities. Okay, you have learned how to properly guard your cup, your heart, what that which is emotionally fulfilling to you. Okay, um, and you're not coming from a place of being a jerk. Okay, you're just very rooted in self-respect. Okay. You understand that your time is limited on this planet for however many lifetimes you're going to be here. And including this one, whether you believe in multiple lives or not, time is limited. It goes fast, faster than we'd probably like. And you're not wasting any more of yours because it tends to be a finite resource. Okay. Um, someone's going to be impressed by how you were able to pull this off without being detected. Okay, someone someone's going to be actually impressed by that. Um, let's see what we do. We only have Scorpio on the board. Yes, Scorpio and water signs. Um, this is so funny. It's it's almost like um, a victory dance wherever it is you're starting anew, and. Um, you have those that are in your corner about this, like once you execute your plan um, and everybody else is just going to kind of be left dumbfounded. So this is a good weekend, weekend for Libra. <laughs> good luck executing that plan, guys. This, this is going to go well. All right, Scorpio, let's see if y'all are going to have a great weekend. Ten of Swords try to pop out there. I'm doing a yes or no spread, one that I haven't used in ages. It has resulted in some interesting readings so far today. So let's see if Scorpio is going to have a good weekend. Knight of Swords, Two of Wands, Five of Wands. Oh, okay. Five of Wands. Okay, hold on. Five of Pentacles, Ace of Coins, Tower. That's your energy. There's that Ten of Swords. It did want to come out. The Fool. And there you are, King of Cups. So it looks bad, but this feels like it's the best thing for you. Especially when you're showing up in double energy in your own spread. It feels like you are facing a transition of um, disconnecting. You're, you're breaking up with somebody. Y'all are breaking up. Okay, y'all are breaking up. Fighting, angry. What do we do from here? It's breaking down. Someone's got to move. Someone's got to put money down on a new place. Um... Someone feels far away from the world, the reality they once knew. That That's a big one for someone. Someone feels far away from the reality they once knew. Maybe there's some sort of lie that they finally um, came to Jesus sort of conversation when it comes to this, con when, it, blah, blah, when it comes to this connection, maybe they found out something was a lie. Um, for someone, it really was about money. It really was about money. So if someone thought that there was love there, it was really about money. Um, there's quite a fight as this thing disconnects. A lot of change is in store. Okay. Five of wands, five of coins, tower. Okay. And the tower is happening now. So as much as this is not a fun weekend, is it good for you, Scorpio? Yes. It's, this feels like a long time coming. Okay, it feels like a long time coming. It takes a while for ten swords to be getting shoved into someone's back. 
You know what I'm saying? So there's a little bit with this person that you're breaking up with, that you're disconnecting from, that is going, they have an, an element of wrath to them. So please be careful. There's an element of wrath. Okay. So any discontent, any anger, you may want to mute it a little bit because this person seems volatile, even mercurial. Okay. And this disconnect from reality as it was once known is a blessing. There's something about this. If you relied on a lifestyle that was a bit more materialistic about being seen a certain way, um, like a life of luxury, and that's the social circle that this connection was connected to. And now that changes because paying to move or paying for another place to live. And now it's a change in lifestyle. You didn't lose anything of value, of true value. Okay. You really didn't. It's okay to sulk. It's okay to feel neglected, abandoned, sad. All of these things. It's totally fine. This was meant to end. This was not meant to keep going. And there is already new opportunity upon you. Already. So the smoke from this is actually going to clear faster than you think because this was supposed to be over already okay so don't don't lose hope it's time to learn to live a new kind of way that is far more fulfilling than this connection ever was all right good luck you guys all right Sagittarius I'm doing a yes or no spread to see if y'all are going to have a good weekend a spread I haven't used in a while, but it has picked up on some interesting stories today. So let's see where we go. Six of Wands. Page of Wands. Magician. Ooh. Eight of Coins. Knight of Coins. Five of Swords. Okay. Ten of Wands. Oh. Ace of Cups. Two of cups so in one way it's not a great weekend in another one it's really awesome I'm gonna tell you why okay um, there has been discovery that is leading to great manifestation okay within Sag this feels like a masculine energy that's going to help um, help you evolve into something greater into a greater version of yourself what the cost of this is sacrificing the old way of being and the tipping point in what's helping you do that, what's helping you be, what's helping you submit to this soul evolution is the loss of a great love, an ace of cups, two of cups that turned into a 10 of wands. Um, it, it wasn't supposed to be a 10 of wands. It was supposed to be a gift. Okay. But there's an old way of being. Okay. That has keep that has kept you stagnant it's not a place of growth okay and something has happened that has illuminated this for you and you have started the process of learning new okay and as soon as you say yes to the universe okay fine universe you win i don't want to keep living like this if if this is the result Okay. Um, but it's so hard to let go of how I've been. Okay. But if you have just enough guts to surrender, just enough, you have to surrender all your guts. <laughs> <laughs> That's when the universe can step in and really unleash the magic within. It's going to start small. It's going to be like the, it's going to be like, the universe plants a seed in your heart and then it's going to root. You got to water it. It's going to root. Then eventually it's going to sprout. Then the roots are going to spread through your whole body, through your feet, anchoring you to the earth and letting those branches stretch up towards the heavens. You're going to become a whole new person. 
where this previous way of being, it's going to feel so far away, so far in the past. You're, it's going to be a whole different person. Like you don't even know that person anymore. You are going to be glorified for the work that you accomplish because it's going to be so obvious to other people how much you have evolved and how impressed everyone is with how much you have evolved. Okay. Um, there's also something here that's alluding to your children are going to notice it. If you have kids, your children are going to notice this within you. It's going to make you someone that they gravitate to more. Okay. Um, I'm getting it more like they want to play with you more. They want to spend more time with you. There's something there where you draw them, you're, like your positive energy that you radiate now just draws them in over and over. So this really is success for all parties involved, those especially in your immediate sphere also. So this lost Ace of Cups, Two of Cups ends up being the lesson that triggers so much change. So good luck, guys. Starts this weekend. Alrighty, Capricorn, let's see if you guys are going to have a good weekend. It's a yes or no spread. Been coming up with some pretty good stories so far for everyone. So yes or no, is Cappy going to have a good weekend? Ooh, yes. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune, Eight of Cups, the Lover's Card of Gemini, Nine of Cups, Seven of Wands, Five of Swords... Four of coins, magician, seven of coins. So it's a little reminiscent of, um, was it Libras? Where it's almost like there's a plan in place to execute the dream of your life. Okay. Um, and the hard work is going to pay off. And it's not necessarily hard work that everyone sees you doing. It feels like this is something... It feels like this is work in your physical reality and your inner world. Okay. You're keeping your ideas for your manifestations close to your chest as you plant seeds to make this happen. There's a Capricorn here that is very aware that you need to show the universe you are willing to help yourself so then the universe can generate that energy to push you over the threshold toward the goal that you're aiming for. Right. It's it's not going to do things from zero. It's got to see that you are willing to consistently help yourself. And with that comes a significant change in fortune, especially when it comes to the emotional outcome here. OK, so whatever this plan is, these seeds that are plant, being planted, you're going to actually um, as a result incur a lover's connection. That is a surefire win for you along with the change in fortune um, that's going to give, there's something about aiming for a life. Got it. Aiming for a life that you don't want to take a vacation from as cliche as that sounds. It's something that you hold very near and dear to your heart. Um, it's something that you will fight like every second for until it's yours. doesn't matter the work that needs to go into it. You're willing to do it and you're willing to curb everything else in order to get it. Okay. The seeds that you're planting here relate to some sort of natural ability that you have. Um, whether it's work or hobby, um, it's something that you don't talk about. It's something that you don't talk about. Either that or if you mention it, you don't say, you don't divulge how you do it. Like if you're, if you make if you're in a woodworking you and there's a certain way that you make furniture you don't you don't divulge trade secrets here there's something there that you know is very important to your process of what it is that you do okay in order to build the foundation where this dream life that you want will blossom okay hmm.
So this lover's connection, that is Gemini energy on here. And I think that's the only, yeah, that's the only uh, zodiac sign we have coming up here. This energy, um, there's something here where you're going to be glad that you held out for this person. Whatever holding out means for you. Whether it's keep searching, you, you kept searching despite who you run into, something like that. Um, and it feels like in order to be together or in order for the two of you to meet in life, the two of you had to cross vast distances. And that's not necessarily literal. Okay, that could have been a spiritual soul journey, even if you lived down the block from each other. Okay, so with this change in fortune when it comes to the heart space comes with change in fortune with abundance for the better as well. Okay, so keep watering those seeds that you have planted. The universe is going to kick in and help bring this entire vision that you have for life to fruition. And apparently there's some important pieces you're putting into play this weekend. So, good luck, guys. Alrighty, Aquarius, let's do a yes or no spread to see if y'all are going to have a good weekend. Ooh. So, yes, this is a good weekend. It may not feel like it, <laughs> but it is. Ten of Wands World, which is fixed energy. That's Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, and Scorpio. Queen of Swords, Hermit, Carter, Virgo, Seven of Coins, Queen of Cups, Magician, Chariot. That's Cancer energy. It feels like a tough chapter has ended something that you didn't get a whole lot out of. Um... It's something that you finally faced facts and said, you know what? It's time to cut this from my life. I need to, sh I need to face the facts that this was a loss of some kind. Okay. Someone is quite literally celebrating by going on a trip on some place that they've always wanted to go to. Okay. Um, so someone is rewarding themselves in that way, whether they did a victory dance after this or not, this feels more like a sigh of relief. Okay. That, you know what? I just need to admit that this situation is what it is. It is what it is. And I'm just going to cut the loss right here. And now this has become too much. This has become too much and I can't do this anymore. So I'm going to let it burn all the way down to the ground because I wasn't getting much out of it in the first place. There's something where there was a clear lack of generosity that was either expected or it's been absent and was there originally in the beginning. So something changed there. Something changed there. Um... If this is about another person, um, I, I'm going to be honest, they're a little angry. <laughs> they're, they're, they're a little angry. Um, it's almost like that they're angry that you're handling this so well. Like, I don't know. Should, should I, I would never think an Aquarius would be like on their knees begging in tears like ever. Like any other fixed sign would not ever. <laughs> Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius would never, <laughs> ever. <laughs> and so this feels like one of those, well, I tried. I didn't get back what I put into it. They're upset that I'm not groveling. So I'm just going to kind of head out, um, keep my head down, low profile, be quiet, um, take the high road is how it's coming across. And in that comes this whole decision of, you know, I've been wanting to go to this place. This let's, let's just say it's Hawaii, for example. Like, I've been wanting to go. We were supposed to go, but we didn't go. Right? And I've always wanted to go. So I think now, in order to process all of this, I'm going to go. And I'm going to have a good time. Yes, you are, honey. <laughs> Yes, you are. 
There's kind of like the swimming with the dolphins vibe there for sure. <laughs> so what's interesting is that wherever it is that you choose to go, you're, there's already going to be at the very least one admirer at the very, very least, um, kind of make it a pass at you too. And it feels a little bit too soon for you. There's a little bit of resistance there, but understand that, you know, if you're traveling, you know, you're going to run into new people and new could be really, really good for you. So maybe be open to something new, considering you are done with whatever this was. Good luck, guys. All righty, Pisces, we're going to do a yes or no spread to see if y'all are going to have a good weekend been some interesting answers to that question so far <laughs> eight of cups five of coins seven of wands ace of swords four of swords hermit card of virgo six of cups five of cups sun so on the whole on the whole the answer is no leo energy so we have Leo Virgo here in this chart. The answer is no, but what is realized is good. It's just the process of reaching the realization is uncomfortable. Okay. So there was someone who looks like left situation with you. Okay. Whether it was formal commitment or not, that's it's not coming up that way. But they definitely are a soul bond for sure. Okay, this was a truth that you realized after the fact, which is why now, after they've left, the loss of them is so devastating. For some reason, you don't feel like there's anything that you could do about this. I, I don't know why. Um, I'm seeing someone did go excess, get excessive on the drinking after this realization hit. Please be careful with that. Um... Because it, there's almost like you realized, you realize the sun is departing with the departing of this soulmate. Okay. Um, something happened to trigger you to a point where, you know, it's a, it's a cycle of being guided by the hermit. The hermit is a guide and they usually, their whole thing is they are a spiritual master they guide you out of the darkness with divine knowledge. Okay. And as you started to heal here from this a bit, realization, truth started to sink in when it came to this particular soul bond. You note them as helpful, resourceful, resourceful. Someone with a generally positive disposition and knows how to handle when situations go run awry. They know how to maintain their composure and their positivity. It's not, more, it's not so much positivity. Optimism. Thank you. Optimism. Well, it could be worse, you know. <laughs> um, this person held back for a while on departing. But once they did, once they did, they were really gone. They were real. They really moved away from this, quite literally in some cases. Okay. There was a cycle of rebuilding themselves. This feels like it has since been completed. Okay, because it doesn't feel like this happened yesterday. But what feels like it's happening this weekend is this realization of the truth that this was a soul bond sent sent by the universe as a gift okay that that that's the part that's so it's it's good the realization hits but it's a shit weekend in the process of realizing it so if if y'all go out partying friday night saturday night there's a realization that sticks out with this excessive partying something happens that triggers the realization okay and as a result of finding out, holy shit, this was a soul bond, it's glug, glug, glug. Okay, so be careful. Okay, be careful with the drinking. Okay. Um, the truth comes as a bit of a shock and a bit of a pain. Okay. 
um, because it was actually something that was It was something in this situation that was allowed to be an obstacle when it really wasn't. And because of that, the result was to disconnect. Okay. So sit with the realization, see what else you can get garner from that. Do what you can to process and move forward. Okay. Perhaps there's another way that the sun can come in again. All right. Good luck, guys.